Any questions about claiming your e-text? Stop sharing. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to share my computers. Okay, stop recording. It is recorded. All right, so the lecture is recorded. Uh, let me check the message box. So far, so good. Thank you, Nina. Okay, so. Um, once you claim your e-text, you need to access the Microsoft software. How do you access Microsoft software? You use Windows Virtual Desktop. Okay, the instructions is here. Go to Blackboard. And then the fourth document, join Windows Virtual Desktop, this PDF file. This file is created by Professor Nabil Marat. Thanks for his contribution to this document. So to access the software, you need to click this website. Okay, HTTPS. Maybe I will copy, I'll try to copy to see if I can copy this website. You open that document, you can Microsoft. So I sent you the link on the chat area. You can click that link or you directly go to the link from PDF file on the Blackboard. I will show you again. Where do I get this PDF file? On Blackboard, welcome page, the first document, introductions to John Windows Virtual Desktop. Click this document, you will have this link. I give you a few moments. Make sure you can click this link. So I check the message. Uh, it is asking for a password. Uh, uh, okay, give me one second. Same uh, yes, thank you, Makia. It is the same password as your George Brown email. Okay. or scan this QR code with your cell phone. So signing in, this is signing in with your George Brown email. You must signing in with your George Brown email. Let me see the message. Signing in with your George Brown email. Password is the same as your still view password. So I pause for a moment give you some time to go to that website, this website, then signing in with your George Brown College credentials. All right, so this is your username, password. After that, you click this icon here. 
click on this PC icon. And then you click allow, make sure you check out the clipboard, microphone, printer. So the last step, you should be here. You get your Windows Virtual Desktop. Windows Virtual Desktop. I pause for a moment to see if you have any questions. Did anyone successfully go to the last page? You are here. You get this Windows virtual desktop. Let me see. Congratulations. Amount, congratulations, Tamaya. Faisal, congratulations, AC. Rebecca, Afriham, Colleen, Daniel, Richard, Jack. Excellent. Okay, so once you are here, once you are here, you click this on, once you are here, you click on the um, bottom left corner, bottom left corner here, the start menu here, the start menu on Windows Virtual Desktop. And can you see MS Project? It should be 2019, not 2016. Go to the start button on bottom left corner. Project 2016, not 16, project 2019. You should see 19, 2019. Margarita, great, Aiden. Yeah, it just says project, that's fine. If it is just says project, that's fine. Okay, let me see. So you should see the project. After that, um, I will tell you how do you create a file and then save your file on OneDrive. Okay, so I will pause for a moment. I want to majority of students can see project software. And if you have questions, please type in your questions on the chat area or Unmute yourself, directly speak up. Uh, not showing that software for me. Okay, uh, if you do not see, did you see here? You see this window, right? Can you see this window? Okay, you can see this window. If you can see this window, you go here. See where is my mouse? See where is my mouse? On the bottom left corner, you have this start button. Bottom left or here. See the start menu for WVD, quick start button. Okay, I will launch mine. Okay, this is mine, okay. This is my Windows Virtual Desktop. I click Allow. Then I type in my password. Okay, let me see, you have question. Uh, yeah, but the project one that is not showing. 
Uh, okay, it is just a project, not 2016. With my computer, watch my computer, I will show you. Okay, so you are here, right? And click this start button, bottom left, bottom left. If you click this button, it is just show project. Woohoo, yes. No version, it is just project, that's fine. That is the correct one. If you see just project, you are on the right track. I, so everyone, please double click to open that project. Just see the project file. Let me check. Uh, okay, got it. Okay, great. Uh, Sukraji. Okay. So uh, where I am? I am here. So you have this accept the license agreement. You click accept. Accept. And then click close. Click close. So everyone with me now, you are here. Any questions so far? Sorry, how is this thing called? How do I find it? How do you find it? Okay, yeah. no problem. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to close everything so you start here you are you okay with this step on my computer let me see okay you, you said yes okay then i click allow then i type in my password I click submit. Please stop me if you have any questions. Uh, after I submit, I, you actually need to click here. Start button on bottom right corner. Start on bottom right, sorry, bottom left. Quick start button here. See where's my mouse? So that you can see this project. Quick start button on bottom left, you see this project. Are you with me now? After you quick project, you see this screen. I will check. Excellent. Okay, you get it. Okay. Any other questions? So now we are here. Oops, where? No, not here. So I'm going to close this one. Uh, close this one. Okay, where I am? Okay, you are here. Now, let's open a blank project. Quick here. Did you see blank project? Stop me if you have any questions. Blank project. Okay. So chapter one and chapter two. So now I'm going to use this real, this is real project software. I'm going to use this one to introduce chapter one and chapter two. Okay. Um, so if I go to the textbook here, not here, where's my wrist? So remember, this is my textbook. You also have this electronic textbook. So now I will introduce chapter one, chapter two, okay? This is uh, part one. Chapter one is a project, project management and you. And in this project, in this chapter one, uh, it introduced the practice files. 
where do you get the practice files? But this chapter one, see, this chapter does not need a practice file. So we skip this one, okay? And for meet the pro project program, you can read by yourself. Anyone, if you read it, you understand it. So I'm going to skip this one, okay? Uh, so for example, uh, you, you, you can use project. What do you do with the project? You can create plans. You can control um, the tasks. You can manage tasks. You can work with your plans data. You can track and manage your plan. You can collaborate and share data, etc. This is what you can do with the project, okay? And the project family means the project software. There are three types of projects. Uh, there are many different types. One is the project standard. The project standard is just for entry level desktop, entry level. And then you have project professional version. This has more functionalities, okay? If you have a project professional, you can work the project online and with a project server, okay? And then you have project online professional or project online premier. This is the highest level of the project software, okay? You just need to have a concept for MS project you have different versions. One is standard, the second one professional, the last one online professional. Right now, we are actually using the standard. Okay. Um, and you need to know the project web app, PWA. This is a browser based interface. Okay. We don't go that deep. We just do the standard entry level. And this one is the new features for project 2019 compared to the previous versions. Okay. Uh, you can read by yourself. It is easy read. Okay. Uh, and then you do not need to know the features in early versions. You don't need to know those, okay? You just need to know this, new features here, improved task linking, timeline versus update, task summary, name, accessibility improvements. Those are the new features. You do not need to know the old features, okay? Um, and then uh, if you are a project manager, and from a project manager's uh, perspectives, what questions you usually asked, those are the questions you usually ask. It is your general what, when, who, how, what if. Okay, so that is chapter one. Okay, read by yourself. Okay, that is the chapter one. Uh, briefly go over, no practice file. Now go to project two, chapter two. So in chapter two, you need a practice file. The practice file name is take guided tour. Where do you find this data file? go to Blackboard. So again, I'm explaining textbook chapter two. Chapter two need a data file. Where do you get data file? Blackboard. And then you see here, data files. Data files. Because we are using two textbooks. So one data file is for MS project textbook. Another data files is for MS Access textbook. For first, 
seven weeks, you need the data files for MS Project textbook. Please download this to your computer. Download this. This is a zip file. After you download, you need to unzip it. Okay, this is one way to get data file. Another way to get data file, if you go to assignments, hands on here. If you go to assignments, hands on, click it. And you see hands on for MS project chapter two. Remember, you need to submit this project. It is worth like maybe 2% or 2.2%. This is all the hands on. Okay, for chapter one, two, this is a take guided tour. See, this is the file you need. Okay, so you download this file to your computer. After you download this file to your computer, you have to upload the file from your computer to OneDrive. See the detailed step I listed here. In order to complete hands-on for chapter two, you need to follow these steps, seven steps. Step one, claim your e-text. Most of you already claimed. Step two, connect to Windows Virtual Desktop. Step three, download the data file to your computer. For chapter two purpose, you can only download this one file, just for chapter two. For all chapters in MS Project, you need to download data file here, here. Okay. And then you need to log in OneDrive. This is the point I'm going to pause for a moment to show you how do you log in OneDrive. Okay, I'm going to turn on my light. It is uh, too dark here. Okay, I'm back. So you need to uh, log in OneDrive. This is the point I'm going to show you. How do you complete OneDrive? Uh, Amand asked, how do you show that you have completed these steps? Uh -huh, good question, <laughs> Amanda. The question was, how do you know you completed these steps? Okay. If I can see your submission for chapter two, I know you completed all the seven steps. Otherwise, how do you work with the file for chapter two? I need to see your submission. If you submit your file, I check your content, it is correct. That means you completed these seven steps. Okay. Uh, how do you submit? You click this button, this link, you can submit your file, finished file. Okay. So for now, I will explain how do you log in OneDrive. Okay. Uh, there's a lot going on in week one. Uh, maybe it is overwhelming to some students. No worries. Slow down, take a deep breath. Don't get frustrated. Okay. For now, I am explaining OneDrive. So if you go to welcome page, so OneDrive is here. See, instructions. How do you go to OneDrive? Okay. The OneDrive, uh, you go to here, see, go to http column login dot Microsoft dot com and log in with your George Brown College credential. Okay. Uh, after you log in, you can see OneDrive. So I give you a moment, everybody, everybody, go here. I copy this link. 
I paste this link to the chat area. Everyone, please log in this website, login.microsoft.com. Everyone, did you see the link at the chat area? Log in. What is your username? Your student number at georgebrown.ca is your username. The password is the same as your still view password. I will also try to log in, okay? So uh, I will copy this address. Control V. I already logged in after I paste that website. This is a login.microsoft.com. So where is OneDrive? You go this three, this app launcher on our pause for a moment. I give you some time to log in .microsoft.com using your George Brown credential. I will show you here. Yeah, go to this link. Follow this instruction. Any questions, unmute yourself or type in your questions on the chat area. Uh, can anyone confirm you you can successfully log in and if you click app launcher here you see the OneDrive app launcher you see OneDrive fantastic congratulations Mayala uh, Margarita Fabot Aiden Fazi Essie Rebecca congrats so this is your OneDrive. Did you see it? So this is my OneDrive. If I click it, I would suggest you create a folder. If you click the new, you can create a folder for, for example, Comp 1115. Okay, create a new folder called Comp 1115 and save all your work for Comp 1115 in that folder. Okay. So that is OneDrive. Any questions on OneDrive? My OneDrive has no files. Uh, you know, <laughs> no worries. Maybe this is the first time you use OneDrive. No worries. If you do not have anything on your OneDrive, click new button here, create a folder called Comp 1115. Go here, new, click new, create folder, new folder. Folder name Comp 1115. Okay. Uh, after Comp 1115, when you uh, upload your file from your computer, you upload to Comp 1115 folder. Okay. Well, what should we call the folder? Comp 1115. Aiden, thanks for your question. Uh, Nino, thanks for answer your fellow student question. Another question, is it fine if we have other documents there already? Yeah, it's fine. If you already have other documents, see, I have many, many, many documents here on OneDrive. But I want to make sure when I click GBC, this is a, a winter 22. Do I have that? I haven't have winter 22 folder. I have one, but why it disappeared? So now I'm going to create, uh, so last semester it is four. So I have Comp 1115 folder, okay? So please make sure you create Comp 1115 folder. So everything you do with this course saved here, saved on one drive. Proheading, congratulations, you created folder, great. What do I go to all the apps project doesn't appear? 
Is that okay? When I go to all apps, project doesn't appear. Um, Aiden, to see the project, you need Windows Virtual Desktop. See, I see my project here. To see the project software, you need to go to Windows Virtual Desktop. Not sure. On OneDrive, you do not have project software, but you can save your file, project file in OneDrive. OneDrive is a place to hold files or to hold folders. Okay. All right. Uh, any questions? Uh, me says Microsoft. Mine says Microsoft 365. Okay. Uh, Tam Tamaya, you are right. No worries. If you said Microsoft 365, you are on the right track. You just to need to see the one drive. If you see Microsoft 365, that's fine. You are on the right track. You just need to click this button. See, on the top left corner, up launcher, top left corner, up launcher to see one drive. If you click here, you see one drive. Okay, so we need to see one drive because we need to save our file in one drive. That is the purpose why we need OneDrive. Can you just repeat the process for OneDrive? Sure, no problem. I will repeat the process for OneDrive, okay? The process is I'm going to close this OneDrive, close. Thanks for your question. For those students, if you haven't got OneDrive, it is important to get OneDrive. Please watch my demonstration again. I will go from scratch, from very beginning, okay? So how do you get OneDrive? Go to Blackboard home page, welcome. Scroll to the middle, copy this link, http column slash slash login dot Microsoft. I will copy this link again to the chart area. I copy the link to the chart area. You click that link. You click the link and then log in with your George Brown College credential. You click that link. You click the link and then use your George Brown email and your password to log in. I will pause for a moment. For other students, please uh, be patient with me. We need majority students to study well, to follow up. We don't want majority students falling behind, okay? Uh, thank you for your patience for those students who already log on OneDrive. Uh, please be patient with those students who haven't. Uh, okay, great, then, okay, so uh, you can log on OneDrive, you can see OneDrive. From here, you can see OneDrive, fantastic. If you still do not see OneDrive, you are shy, you do not want to ask questions during class, I respect your preference. You can email me after class or toward the end, we can have one-on-one -on -one, um, um, meeting, okay? So that is one drive. And now go back to everyone, go back to the project. So this is how you open the pro a new blank project. Okay. So for now, let's just type in maybe one task or two tasks. Okay. So for example, week one, 
type in week one on the task name, and then type in week two. So the duration for week one, uh, maybe it is uh, three hours. So you type in three H means three hours. Remember each week we have three hour lecture. And week two also have three hour lecture, just for example. Okay. Uh, so you keep on go week three, week four, etc. But here, I just want to show you the interface of this project. See, this is the project window. On the top, you have a file, task, resources, report, etc. Those are the menu. Okay. And this one here on the far left, you have Gantt chart. By default, this is the Gantt chart view. Okay, you can change to different view. For example, if you click Gantt chart view, you can see network diagram. So this is the network diagram view. Okay, and then you can select, for example, uh, calendar view. So this is the calendar view, okay? So by default, it is a Gantt chart view, okay? So this is this far left bar, okay? And suppose you finish this project, where do you save it? You save it on one drive, so this is uh, the one I'm going to introduce. So you go to file, save as one drive. Okay, make sure you log on one drive first. One drive. And then you need to sign in one drive again. Okay, once you are here, you need to click add account button although you see your account but you need to click add account button now type in your email i forgot brown five zero zero seven zero five that is for me George Brown, George Brown. Then click next. And password. Let's go nine. Click signing in. Wow. So I signing in one drive. I can see all my folders on one drive, right? Um, so you can explore. This is my one drive here, one drive as George Brown. Okay. You can select a location, for example, uh, GBC folder or CFP folder, whatever folder. Then you type in your name, the project name. Okay, so anyway, this is how you save project file on one drive. Any questions on how to save your file on one drive? Okay, uh, Aiden said, uh, can you show, go over how to download the data file? how to upload to the OneDrive. Sure, Aiden. So now I'm going to show you again how to download the file and how to upload to OneDrive. You go Blackboard. You go to Data File. And then you click Data File. For now, for week one, I may suggest 
you can click this zip. This is this data file is in zip format. You double click it, it will download it to your computer. Okay. After you download it to your computer, and then you go to one drive, you go to one drive, and you click upload. See, click upload button. Do you want to upload file or folder? That way you upload it to your one drive. Okay. Uh, hope that help. Okay. Yeah. What is the file called? Okay. The file is called, see here. This is the, so if you, it is a long name, see? 9781500930, blah, blah, blah. This is the file name. If you feel this zip file complicated, I would suggest you do one file, one single file. Adam, you go here, take guided tour. This is one single file. You double click to download to your computer. And then go one drive to upload this file to one drive. Okay. If you're still confused, next week I will redo the procedure. So uh, once we upload it to one drive, should it just have a folder for each chapter within the drive? You decide if you want to put the files into the folder or you want to put all the files in Comp 1115. But first of all, you have, it is strongly, strongly suggest you create a folder in one drive. The folder name is Comp 1115, create a folder name Comp 1115. Okay, so if I click this, see, this is the file I uploaded from my computer. You see, I have MS Project data file. If I open it, I have all the chapters. Did you see it? This is my one drive. So I repeat, if you don't get it, I try to go slow. How do I get this page? I go to George Brown College Blackboard. I go to data file. I double click this zip file. After that, I unzip this file on my local computer. Unzip it so that it is just a folder. Then I go to OneDrive. I go to Comp 1115 folder. I click upload folder. After that, I have this my MS Project data file on one drive. You need to practice this, okay? You need to practice this. Uh, any questions? So, so I showed you how to save a file to one drive if you did already did a project, okay, how to save it on the um, OneDrive. Once you have your file on OneDrive, download, download the project file from OneDrive to your computer. Why you need to download again? Because you need to submit. Click this button to submit your finished file for greedy, for marks. Okay, I know it is overwhelming. There's a lot going on here. OneDrive, Windows Virtual Desktop, zip file, data files, downloading, uploading, here and there. Overwhelming, indeed it is overwhelming. What I suggest is you go slow. See, you follow this instruction. For example, you want to complete chapter two. How do you complete these seven steps? You follow these seven steps. At any point, if you have any questions, you email me if we finish the class, you email me. Or wait until next class. 
okay? For the first week, don't worry about the due date. Nothing is due in week one. Although course outline said chapter two is due. No, not due until next week. If you have questions on chapter two, we'll continue next week. Okay. So any questions? Do we have uh, any homework for this week? Do we have any homework for this week? Yes, we do. The homework for this week is hands on for MS project chapter two. This is the homework for this week. If you can complete this week, that's great. If you cannot, next week, I will give you some time. I will explain this again. You can have uh, until next week to complete chapter two. Okay. Um, my want download. Um, can you try it again if you want download? Should be okay. So, Prohalin, you have question? Prohalin. Yes, Professor. I yes. downloaded whatever you said, but when I was trying to upload it to OneDrive, the whatever we wrote in the GAD chart, I was trying the same week one, week two, three hours, but I could not upload it to OneDrive. I went to the files, then save as, then OneDrive. But when I click sign in, I I can see my college account open. But when I click on my college account, then nothing happens. So I don't know if it got saved or not, or is there any another way I have to do it? Um, any other students have similar problem? Can you say yes? I see. Okay, one student said yes. Can I have more? Yes, okay. Okay, so you are not alone. Thanks for your questions. Uh, this problem happened in the past. Um, so don't get stressed, first of all. We need to take care of ourselves mentally. When you get stressed, your brain frozen. You cannot work properly. Calm down, calm down. Nothing is due this week, okay? Okay. Now, I will ask you a question one by one, okay? Uh, what if you, oh, sure, you can share your screen, uh, but I have to unshare my screen so that you share your screen. Okay, guys, if you have similar questions, even if you don't have similar questions, it is always a good idea to learn from other students, learn from maybe next time you have other problem, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I will stop sharing my computer. I will let one student. How to pronounce your name? Prablin? It's Prablin. 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 Okay. You Prablin. Yeah, I will stop sharing my computer and I will let Prablin share her computer. Uh, Aidan have similar questions. Aidan, please watch a uh, proper hailing the computer okay so now i'm going to stop sharing and i have to give you the right give me one second probably i need to locate your name there are many many students here probably where it is probably i need to give you the right to share what is your last name? Probably. Can you help me locate your name? Probably. Yeah, my name is Probably Kaur. Kaur is my last name written. Yeah, where it is on this list? You you see my computer or you cannot see because I stopped here. My hand oh, is Okay, the fourth one. Uh, probably Kaur. Okay. Um, probably Kaur. Uh, I make you a presenter. Aha. So now you are a presenter, probably. <laughs> <laughs> what you do, you go the share content on the bottom right, count this and I can share content. And then you click share your computer. I give you the right. This you are the application presenter. screen, I believe. 
uh, you are the presenter now, but now I can see your computer. I hope everyone can see your computer. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. Go slow. Okay. Probably go slow. Okay. So here you asked to make the computer one one five one eleven fifteen folder. Excellent. You have that folder. Yes. Yeah. Then in the desktop thing, when I go to OneDrive. Oh, don't go, don't go to Windows desktop. I want to make sure your computer has a local computer has data file, right? Yeah, this is the GBC oh, okay. one, ma'am, that you made us, that you asked us okay, to make. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so when I sign in from here, I get okay. my college account. I click uh -huh. here, then I get back. Oh, don't quick, don't quick, don't quick there. Go to okay. OneDrive again, quick signing in, stop, yeah. stop, which yeah. remember during my demonstration, I said, go to the bottom, quick add account. What I did is hit, yes. So I have then, to add the same college account, account again? Exactly. Okay, so I uh, open my GBC college account. And then yeah, sign in. No, type that. your student number at georgebrown.ca. Your student number at georgebrown.ca. So now I know the reason why you you cannot go through. You didn't quick add account. That is the reason. You need to wait. No, I did it. No, let's see. I got this thing here. Again, so I try signing. Signing in again. Try quick signing in. Yeah, password. See everyone, instructions are important. Probably this student missed the steps I demonstrated. I said quick add account. Okay. Typing your password for the same password as a still view password. Let's try again. Yeah, so it's again at the same Add account. Yeah, email address. It's not typing. Yeah. Kamaya, sorry. So we just watch. It's not working for me either. AC, sorry. Let's watch Pro Highlink. Okay. Okay. Mom, you can call me Prop. A uh, Prop. Okay. Prop. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, it's yeah. coming again, again. I'm, I'm at the same place. I have logged in it, but nothing happens. Uh, okay. Try one more time. Then we yeah. see. Maybe we so need to relaunch. I'll go through. This is last time. Yeah. One, 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 one more time. Seven. At the rate. George Brown dot C A. Mm -hmm. Then I go to next. Thanks. Then I'm again outside. So okay. let's try signing in and let's see. So again, I have my account does not get signed in. Uh, Try this last time, then we don't try. We we need okay. to figure out. Did anyone successfully log in here? Can you say yes on the chart chart? Did you oh we do have some people? Thank you, Jack. Thank you, uh, Makaya. We do have some people successfully signing in. Okay, it is not working. Okay. Okay, close it, uh, prop. Uh, maybe close your Windows Virtual Desktop, relaunch it. Close your this Windows one? Virtual Desktop. Close everything, yeah, close it. Yeah, so I go to this. Then I go OneDrive or Power OneDrive, right? No, no. Uh, you, um, you go to Windows Desktop again. Windows Virtual Desktop. WV. No. Windows Virtual Desktop. Uh, uh, how did I go there till there? Uh, remember, you need to type in an uh, 
Yeah, this one this. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click this okay. icon. Yeah. Click allow. Uh, okay. Save as. Uh, yeah, this time. Nothing happens. Maybe you okay. should, um, I found it worked for me when I used the sign up. It didn't work when I did the add account or anything. You didn't quick add account? No, I did so because I was doing up? that. And so I did sign up and then I signed in using my email and I found that was, that let me sign, sign in a lot yeah. better. Who yeah. is this, Jack? Yes, this is Jack. Thank you so much for sharing. So, Prop, can you try signing up? Yeah, this one? Yeah, Jack, click sign that, up. That can you direct Prop, Jack? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, sure. And then go to sign in right there. Yeah. And then put in your email address, of course. I, it doesn't matter. Click yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I have this now. Yeah, it shows all your files. And then to upload it, you first want to download your main file to your computer on the first so, tab. OK, so whatever we did in the, the whatever professor wrote in the week one, week two, three hours, three hours, that is supposed to be downloaded? And then yeah. uploaded here. Yeah, you no. kind of download it on like your Windows compute your your um Windows tab. Okay. Uh, what I guess Prop said. Remember, I gave you simple example week one, week two. Yeah. Uh, Microsoft project. So you go to Windows Virtual Desktop again. WVD. Windows Virtual Desktop. I have to cancel it all then. Uh, don't cancel minimum. Minimum it. Yeah, maybe we. Uh, this one. Hold on. We need to. Uh, yeah, go back. Go back. Yeah, click that button. Uh, yeah, perfect. Fair. You have week one, week two. Okay. Okay. Stop. So the what prop is try to do is that she created a file in. Microsoft project software under Windows Virtual Desktop. Now she is trying to save this file on OneDrive. That is what she is going to do. And this is what every student needs to do. Okay. Every student needs to do this. Once you have for this one, okay, go slow, probe, go to file. File, hold on. File, let me see. Da, 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 da. Save as. Save as. Now, quick OneDrive, George Brown. Yeah, quick it. Hold on, one, hold on. See, Maybe you can, can save it. Right? Quick count 1115. Yeah, and open? No, quick, quick. You have to double click count 1115. Yeah. And then file name is maybe week one. Give it name. Week one practice. Profile. You see, you are successful this time. Quick save. Now, quick save button. Excellent. Now, in your OneDrive, you have a file called week My one file practice. Is OneDrive yeah. computer. That See, you have it. that file. You need to download this file to your computer. Why? Because you need to submit this file. 
not this file, I mean, <laughs> it is chapter Whatever two file. Do. Right now you do nothing. Yeah, okay. You, you, you did it successfully. This is how you do each chapter. For each chapter, after you did something on Windows Drive, you save it on one drive, okay? okay? After you save on one drive, this file, I do not need a submission. So you do not need to download. But other file, when you need to submit to Blackboard for getting the marks, you need to download to your computer and then from your computer, upload it to here, Blackboard. Okay? okay. Yeah. So, um, thank you so much, Prob. Thank you so much, Professor. Thank you, Jack, again, yeah. for sharing your resources. I Thanks, hope Jack. this procedure is important because each week we need to do this. We do something on Microsoft Project. After that, we upload the file, upload the file to OneDrive. And then we download the file from OneDrive to our computer. Finally, we upload the file from our computer to Blackboard to get the mark. Okay? All right. So for week one, you need to do project uh, chapter two. Okay, follow the instructions. Uh, course outline said do week one but I extended it to week two. So no worries if you don't complete it in week one. If you can do it, that's great. If not, beginning of next week, I will show you, okay? Uh, so another question, when we upload, do we just upload the compliment file or submit it? When you upload, depending on which chapter, when you are in chapter two, you need to upload, take gadget tool file. Okay, you need to upload this file. This is the step. This is the procedure. Teach you how to do it. Okay, so you need to um, to follow the steps. Okay. If it is the other chapters, you need to upload many files, three files or four files. So read instructions, read instructions. Um, so I want to show you that, do I have lecture recordings? Um, I have some pre-recorded lectures. If you go to Blackboard lecture recordings, lecture recordings, uh, I showed you uh, how do you plan your job search using Microsoft um, project. Although back then it is project 2016, but it still use uh, suitable for project 2019. Okay. And I have a video for chapter five. I am going to upload a video for chapter two so that you can follow along. Is that clear? I will upload a video about how do you do chapter two practice file here so that you can follow my video. That is uh, I will do as soon as uh, possible. Okay, so another question, are you going to go through the assignment with us? Uh, Good question, Aidan. Are you going to go to assignment with you? I love to go to assignment with you. Actually, I already have, it is here. Give me one second. Uh, I usually have chapter five, chapter six. Uh, Okay, I have, uh, I cannot say 100%, but 90% or 95% assignment or hands-on is here. All the stuff you need to submit. Okay, guys, wake up, listen up. <laughs> Did you see lecture recordings? It is actually pre-recorded videos, not live lecture, okay? 
under the lecture recordings, all the assignments, all the hands-on is here. I give you solutions step by step. For example, uh, where is us? For example, assignment two, part one. Check out this video. Assignment two, part two, and um. It is here, hands on here. See chapter five, chapter six, chapter seven, chapter eight, chapter nine. I missed chapter two. I promise you I will create a video about chapter two. I post it here. Okay, so most assignments, most hands on, you can find step by step solution here. You can find here. That's why some students suggest do we need to come to the live class maybe after two or three weeks? No, you do not need to come to the live, but you have to do your work. You have to do your work, okay? So where is your work? All your work is here, guys, on page, welcome page. This is all your work, test one, 10%, test two, 10%, test three, 10%, and the three quizzes. All assignments, guys, 35%, all hands on 20%. Most of those already recorded. You just follow those, you complete, you get good mark. Okay, hope that answer your question, Aiden. Uh, another question, we want to see yours. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, you won't see my screen. I'm so sorry, why just one student mentioned that you won't see my screen. Now you can see my screen, okay? So sorry, see? All your work is here. It is on Blackboard welcome page. Three tests, 30%. Three quiz, 15%. Four assignments, actually four assignments, 35%. All the hands on, 20%. And the solutions for the assignments and hands on, where do you find solutions? I already gave you solutions, guys. It is here, lecture recordings. Okay, see chapter five, chapter six. See assignment, all the solutions are here. I will post solution for chapter two here. I missed that one. Is that clear? Any questions? So remember the first three weeks, attending live class is mandatory, guys. First three weeks, attending live class is mandatory, two or three weeks. After maybe three to four weeks, you do not need to come to class, but, but you have to do your work here. You have to complete all of this, okay? Most of the solutions I already presented here, lecture recordings, those are the solutions for Assignments and hands on, part of 55%. All right. All right. So, for those of you successfully log on OneDrive, uh, Windows Virtual Desktop, uh, you downloaded data file conditions. Um, I believe some students may feel overwhelmed. You haven't logged on OneDrive, haven't logged on the Windows Virtual Desktop. Take it slow. All the instructions, all the detailed instructions, post it on here, first page here. Read slowly and watch lecture recording. Today's lecture recording is here. Go to collaborate. Go to collaborate. Go to this menu. Then go to recordings. See, this is the recording live lecture recording for today. Okay, watch the lecture recordings. Okay, any question? Go this long because this is first week, we go almost three hours. Next week, probably one hour, one and a half hour, okay? So just give you uh, an idea. I have a question, where do we submit the work we did today? The work we did today is not worth mark, it's just for practice, Amanda. 
just for practice, okay? All right, so any questions? Next class, we'll go over chapter two, hands on. Aiden, chapter two, hands on, I will post a video here. You check out the video here, lecture recordings. I will post chapter two, hands on here. Okay, so that you can complete before next class, Aiden. Any other questions? All right. In summary, what we did today, we did those important stuff. Explain course outline, claim your e-text, log on OneDrive, log on WVD, and I also go over briefly chapter one and chapter two. I will post chapter two video for, you need chapter two, see, hands on 2% for chapter two. I will post detailed solution on Blackboard, okay, before next class. So that next class, we just directly go chapter three, chapter four, and do hands-on for those two chapters, okay? The minimum marks for passing is 50. 50 is the minimum mark for passing, okay? Any questions, anything? Uh, before I let you go, I just want to say you, you are the most important people on campus at George Brown. Without you, there will be no need for George Brown College. Thank you so much for your participation. I really appreciate your participation. Okay, Jack, thank you again for sharing the great resources. Prop, thank you for volunteer to share your computer to troubleshooting the problem. Thank you everyone for your participation. Even if you didn't type in anything, you didn't raise your voice, you didn't say anything, you are participating, you are listening, you are doing something quietly on your computer. Thank you all, okay? Have a great week. I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.